girls, welcome back to my channel. You guys are watching RWS, which is Randoms with Shades, and I'm Moa. I'm Shades the Rebel, and in today's video, we're going to be drafting a skirt block. So I hope you're ready. Let's get into the video. Hi, I'm Shades, and just like this title sequence that you're watching over here, nothing has order because it's random. So in today's video, we don't need much. All you need is a ruler, a grid, as well as a pencil, and maybe an eraser if you are going to make a mistake. That's also okay, as well as paper. But I must mention that the pattern block that I'll be making is a quarter scale, meaning it is your normal scale divided in four and so when i do speak about the measurements even though the proportion doesn't match my hands or whatever's going on i will be mentioning the full scale measurements so that you can do it yourself and also remember that you should take your own measurements okay let's get into the video the pattern work i'll be using is the matrix cutting pattern for women's wear by winifred aldrich page 24 is where i got my guidelines measurements i'll be showing you how to measure yourself correctly remember to always keep your measuring tape parallel to the floor for horizontal measurements like your hips and waist and keep your tape perpendicular to the floor when measuring vertical measurements like your hip to waist also, don't forget that finger space between your measuring tape and body for ease. For the purpose of this video, I use the same measurements as the book, but for you, use your own measurements to get the perfect fit. The measurements we needed was the waist, the hips, the waist to hip, as well as the skirt length, which was preferential to the designer or pattern maker, and I used 60 centimeters. We're going to start by squaring off your page, which you're going to draw two lines that are perpendicular at to one another and at that 90 degree corner that is where you're going to mark point number one next take half of your hip measurement and add 1.5 centimeters to mark point two from one your hip measurement is 94 centimeters divided by two is equal to 47 and add 1.5 centimeters which is 48 centimeters sorry 48.5 centimeters and at point two you're going to square down this is going to be your center front from point one to three you're going to take your desired skirt length which is 60 centimeters as i've mentioned and square across to point number four line three to four is now your hemline Take your hip measurement and square across from 1, which your hip measurement is 20.6 centimeters. And that line that you have squared across is going to be line 5 and 6. Now that we've done the basic, we're going to be doing the back pattern block for our skirt divide your hip measurement by four and add 1.5 centimeters so your hip measurement is 94 centimeters divided by four which is equals to 23.5 centimeters plus 1.5 centimeters is equals to 25 centimeters and you're going to mark that from 0.5 to 6 and that point is going to be the line that divides your front and back pattern block on the side Square down to point number 8 and 7 and mark it on your pattern paper so that you don't forget. Next, you're going to divide your waist measurement by 4 and add 4 centimeters. 4 centimeters is going to be your dot width. We have two dots, meaning we, both our dots are going to be 2 centimeters wide. So you take your waist measurement, which is 68, divide by 4, which is equal to 17 plus 4, and that is equal to 21, and mark point 0.9 from point 0.1. From point 0.9, mark 1.25 centimeters up and that is now your point number 10 join point number 10 to point number one as well as join point number 10 to point number seven
Now divide line number 1 to 10 in 3 equal parts and those points you are going to draw lines that are going inwards which are perpendicular to the line that you have just drawn which is line 1 to number 10. And mark each of those points as point number 11 and point number 12. Point number 11 being the one closer to the center back. And now from point 11, you're going to measure 14 centimeters downwards. And this is going to be your dot point. The same goes for point number 12, but on point number 12, you're going to make measure 13 centimeters downwards and this is going to be point number 14. remember that four centimeters we added at our waistline that measurement was for our dots and each of our dots are two centimeters wide mark one centimeter on each of the lines and distribute it evenly so that you have your dots Now draw in your dot legs, meaning joining the two points that you have drawn to the point that you drew earlier on, which was our dot point. Going back to line 10 to 7, which is our hip, we're going to measure 0.5 centimeters on the center of that line. And we're going to curve outwards so that our skirt block can look alive. Make sure you smooth the curve into the line because you don't want your pattern to look distorted. And now that we're done with our back pattern block for the skirt, all I'm doing is just writing down information. On the side there, I'm writing that this is the center of the skirt but it is the center back since this is the back pattern block. And I'm also writing that this is a high-waisted right-hand side pattern block of a skirt. Now going to the front, divide your waist measurement by 4 and add 2.5 centimeters, which is going to be for our dots. So that's 68 centimeters divided by 4, which is 17 plus 2.5 centimeters, which is 19.5. And mark point number 15 from point number 2. Now we're going to mark 1.25 centimeters upwards from that point, which then we will join to point number seven and then join to point number two. And that point is called num point number 16. And already our front is starting to look more like a skirt pattern, right? Measure a third of the line 2 to 16 and mark point number 17, which then you will square down using that very same line that you drew earlier on, making sure that it's perpendicular and this is where your dot is going to be positioned in front. Now you're going to measure 12 centimeters down from point number 17, which then you are going to mark point number 18, which is going to be the dot point of the front skirt dot. Our dot is 2.5 centimeters wide, and so you have to distribute it evenly on that line and then add your dot lines or dot legs joining those two lines to the dot points that we drew earlier on.
and now we're going to do the same thing we did on the back pattern is add that 0.5 centimeter on the center of the line on the side there and then we're going to curve the pattern make sure that your curve is smoothing into the line that there is no distorting going on Now that we're done, this is how it looks. I'm writing the same information that I wrote, just making sure that this time I'm writing that this is the center back, I mean, sorry, center front, this is the front of the skirt, and that it is the right hand side of the pattern block, since the, these pattern blocks are only half of a pattern and not a full pattern. And now it's time to cut out our pattern block. This is how it looks when you've cut it out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have learned so much. I hope you've learned how to draft your own skirt pattern block as well as how to measure yourself correctly. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe or even share it to anyone who might need this. Thank you. Bye.